Elden Ring has a lot of bosses. Some of them have awesome backstories, a lot of them are a pain in the arse to fight, and almost all of them follow the standard from soft formula of having a well defined and unforgiving moveset which pushes the player to engage with the boss and react accordingly. The one boss that doesn't follow the formula and becomes incredibly interesting because of it is the Mimic tier. In a move stolen from Mario Sunshine which was in turn stolen from Zelda, the Mimic tier pits you against a cooler, shinier version of yourself. Except in this case, when I say N, I mean T. Unlike every other game where you fight your twin who never grew out of their emo phase, Elden Ring's extensive build variety has such a massive effect on gameplay that when you fight yourself it's a wholly unique experience. You're not fighting some random humanoid NPC spamming corpse piler, you're fighting yourself spamming corpse piler. The Mimic tier is a test in knowing thyself, and where every other boss has strengths and weaknesses that can be easily looked up online. To beat this copy paste bastard you need to consider the strengths and weaknesses of your own build. If your weapon is slow, should you go for backstabs? Or if your weapon is fast, should you try and parry yourself? Well, you could just look on in horror at the twisted karmic justice of dying over and over to the almost undodgeable waterfowl dance move, which is the exact same trick you've been using to win all those invasions. Or you could beat the game at its own… game. By changing your weapons, items and armour around before entering the boss room, the Mimic tier gives you the unique ability to change the strengths and weaknesses of the boss itself. This creative thinking allows the boss to be made easier, but it also allows you to completely curb stomp it out of existence. You can give the Mimic tier a weapon your build can't use and armour that is weak to your damage type and take all of your talismans off and make it beatable but you can also take off all your weapons and armour entirely and equip the scarab helmet, both saw seals, and that talisman you get off Rhea that makes you take more damage that I never got, and completely destroy it while it hopelessly tries to punch you to death. It allows for such a wide range of dumbass shit to be done, and you can even give it a weapon art that causes self damage and just roll around and watch it kill itself through stupidity. The funniest idea I had was giving the Mimic tier two sacred seals that it couldn't use, and so instead of punching me it just spammed the failed spell animation and its unique rock throw attack that does so little damage I could out heal it with the regen talisman. Then I summoned my own Mimic tier and realised it's one of the stupidest things I've ever done in this game. Unfortunately, when I said the Mimic tier was a shittier version of yourself earlier, I wasn't lying. It only has one flask which is admittedly probably a good idea, but it usually presents so little of a challenge that most people will walk in blind and beat it first time, without ever being given the opportunity to try out these ridiculous tactics. The first time I fought it I tried unequipping my weapon, but I was too late for it to take effect. In all honesty, to even try any of this out, I had to either purposefully lose or quit out of the game when I realised it would take hours for me to die. If it was just a bit tougher to begin with, I feel like it would get a lot more recognition as a great boss. Overall, it feels like a slightly missed opportunity, and I was especially sad that I couldn't put on ridiculously heavy armour and watch it waddle around like an overfed whale, but at the same time, it's one of the most interesting bosses in the game. It's certainly the most creative, and its core mechanic of reflecting the player's build back on themselves allows for a huge wealth of unique and funny gameplay. It's almost like a semi-puzzle boss, and I would love to see the idea pushed further and have more situations where bosses or enemies have unique interactions with you depending on your build, and keen strategy and preparation can produce a wholly different encounter. FromSoft are well known for taking risks and experimenting with their own gameplay formula to usually fantastic results, and in this case the Mimic tier is no exception. It might not be the best or the coolest boss in the game, but it's the one I've been thinking about the most after playing, and that's got to stand for something. Thank you for watching. Peace.